All right, we know you want to focus on the food and football and family and friends, all of that gathering around the table this Thanksgiving, but it can also be the perfect time to talk finances. We're going to add another F word <laughs> to that list. Um, and it, it can be, of course, uncomfortable. It can be a little bit emotional to talk about that, but it's important to get this conversation started when maybe things, everything's good, right? Michael is here. Michael Mazarin from the Retirement Education Foundation is here to say there are ways to bring this up that uh, won't, you know, clear the room, so, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, obviously finances are not fun to talk about with family, especially people are gathered for food and fun and football and someone throws in finances and to your point, the room might clear out. Right. But this really is important. I mean, families in our experience, we've taught over 10,000 people at our classes, families do not have these conversations enough. No, they don't. Because it's not fun to talk about, and we, I get that, but it's really important. Okay, so the first thing is, so the premise is, uh, maybe you're talking to your parents, right? Mm -hmm. Um, okay, mom and dad, do you have a plan in place for when you pass, right? Even before you pass, do okay. you have a financial power of attorney? Do you have a medical power of attorney? If you can't act on your own behalf, who's making those decisions for you? Okay. Those are not easy choices to make, and people need to be prepared ahead of time to, to make sure, okay, if mom or dad are not doing so great, who's in charge of these things? Who's calling the shots? Okay, so medical power of attorney and financial power of attorney. Mm -hmm. Is that the same person, or those are two different people? It or? can be the same person, can okay. be two different people. That's every person's choice of who gets to act on their own behalf. And at what point in your journey, shall we say, do you rely on a financial power of attorney? So that's up to you. You can make it springing, meaning it happens when you no longer can take care of yourself, or you can make it immediate. There's a whole host of, of okay. discussions to be had there about immediate versus springing. But having someone named as that as that power of attorney and making sure they know who it is, because this is what can cause fights, is all of a sudden mom and dad aren't doing so well, the kids go through the documents and discover, oh my gosh, so-and-so is the medical power of attorney and we didn't know that and now they're making decisions and it causes disastrous fights. Really? Okay, so mom and dad need to have a medical and financial power power of attorney and um, and you need to be clear, be, be transparent about it. Being and tell the person, you don't want to be, if you're um, Joni and Chachi over here, you don't want to be caught <laughs> off guard that you're the medical and financial powers of attorney, right? For sure, because for those people, it's a big responsibility. They need to be yeah. aware of, okay, am, am I able to make these choices for my parents or whoever it is? They're big decisions and not everyone wants that responsibility. Ooh. Okay, so what else? So there's I mean, retirement. Are we on track for retirement? If, if we are not retired yet or our parents aren't retired yet, make sure are we sitting down with the parents talking about are you on track? What's your plan? When do you think you're going to retire? And again, not fun things to talk about. When it comes to retirement, especially with money, people can get a little defensive by nature. Yeah. And trying to approach this from, from a perspective of we're all on the same team here. No one's judging anybody. We just want to make sure that there's a plan in place and that you're taken care of so that no one's scrambling at the last minute to try to figure things out. So they're going to say, don't worry about it. We got it covered. We're fine. That type of uh, that language. Type of thing. Great. Let's walk through why you think that. Why yeah. do you think you're fine? Let's talk about what we're currently spending. Let's talk about when you think you're going to retire. Where's the money going to come from? If you're fine, that's great. Let's talk about it. And they're going to say, who are you, my financial planner? Get out of here. <laughs> Let me eat my pumpkin pie. Um, okay, so, and that's a good way of getting into the conversation without getting to the finality of when you're gone. Mm -hmm. um, so retirement, and then what's the final thing you want us to bring so up? So finally, long-term care. Is there a plan in place if mom or dad or whoever needs to be in a long-term care facility? You know, people are becoming more and more often caretakers for their parents because they're was no plan in place for long-term care, and that can be really expensive. Yeah. So is there a plan in place for long-term care? If mom and dad need that, how are we going to fund it? Who's going to help take care of them? Having those plans in place, just like the estate planning, is really important before things happen. Yeah, before things happen and before you are at an emotional breaking point, right, where with sadness and devastation and there's a, a, a life event that suddenly you're making decisions and you can't think straight, right? Exactly. If, if something happens to mom and dad and all of a sudden you know, there's four kids, two kids are, are saying, of course we're going to chip in and help. It's mom and dad. And two kids are saying, well, we can't afford that or we can't right. help with that or we won't help with that. Now there's fighting in the family. Mom and dad are sick in the meantime. It's not good. Mm. Have these discussions ahead of time. It's not fun, but it goes a long way. 
All right, so you guys got it. Add that to your uh, <laughs> list of things to do this weekend. No, seriously, it's so important. Even if you just say, we're going to do have this discussion in a week or so, or mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's bring it up gently. Um, you can find a lot of help on your website mm -hmm. to navigate these waters. Michael. Yes, we have a lot of content online, refedu.org. We have you know, videos, quizzes, calculators, white papers. There's tons of res resources online there. And we also talk about these things at our class as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, by the Happy way. Happy Thanksgiving to you First as well. First Thanksgiving with the baby. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. It, not eating any solid food yet, Not though. quite yet, okay. but you know, it's always fun. She got passed around the whole room. We, we don't see her much during the holidays. She's the like a little butterball turkey. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll be right back.